Welcome to Quant Minds International in Vienna. I'm Joanna Simpson. Joining me now is Lorenzo Bergomi, Head of Quantitative Research at Societe Generale. Thank you very much for joining me today. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And just start by telling me, how are market conditions affecting equity smiles? Um, as practitioners, we've been aware for quite a while that um, the hedging activity of structured desk could have an impact on the behavior of implied vols. Uh, but that effect has been magnified recently by the popularity of some uh, types of products, typically autocollable structures. And uh, uh, we saw that happening already about three years ago on the Nikkei, where the correlation between spot and long-dated uh, implied volts turned positive. But we've seen that more recently uh, affecting also the Euro stocks in December of last year, uh, which is a much more liquid market, uh, volatility market, and we saw a positive uh, correlation between spot and uh, long day in plate balls. So, um, so yeah, so those are new features of the dynamics of uh, volatilities that we have taken into account in our modeling. I should say that it's not just limited to volatilities. We, we see the same behavior in the correlation between spot and dividends, for example. And what are the new or unresolved challenges in volatility modeling? Over the last 10, 20 years, we've had initially good models for pricing in the, the cost of dynamic hedging in the underlying. And then with the stochastic vol models and the local stochastic vol models, we've had models that enable us to, to better factor in the price, the PNL that uh, is incurred by uh, dynamic trading in vanilla options. But we, st we, st well, we still have a long way to go to parameterize these models so that um, they generate the kind of break-even levels that we would like them to, to generate. Uh, because obviously when we look at uh, historical data, we look at physical data, uh, volatilities, correlation of implied vols, and not of model parameters. And so we still have some progress to make, for example, for LSVs, to really have something um, where the model does its own calibration based on the values of physical parameters. Um, so that's on the model side, but that's just part of the work. Just as much work has to go into um, having proper tools to, um, to analyze the carry PNL of a trading position. So um, what I say by that is that, okay, so we're going to have a model on one side, and if it's suitably parameterized, the carriage PNL should be okay, but then we have to be able to take to calculate this carry PNL to break it down into pieces um, that can be reconciled each one of them with the mismatch between uh, realized and uh, and uh, model generated uh, parameters values break evens. And uh, we still don't have the proper tools to do that. For example, to break this PNL into exotic like or vanilla like PNL. I've done some work uh, recently on that, which I uh, presented last year uh, here. I mean, not here, but uh, Global Derivatives or Quant Mind, sorry. Um, uh, but we still have a lot of progress to make on that. And what would be your advice then to the quant community and academic community who are stuck with these challenges? Okay, I think in the last 10-20 uh, years we've uh, done a lot of progress on technical issues like uh, having better algorithms for calculating things, for uh, calculating rigs, prices, etc. So we've enhanced our ability to churn out numbers and churn them out quickly. And I think that uh, we haven't devoted the same amount of energy um, to enhancing the relevance of these numbers. So in other words, we've uh, devoted a lot of time to the how and not enough effort or time to the what and why. And people may think that to these two last questions are, trade, are uh, traders' uh, issues. Uh, quants should focus on the how, but no. It's a quants' job to decide how a model should be parameterized, how to uh, understand and break down the carry PNL. So I think, yeah, I think uh, we still have a lot on our, on our plate and we should focus more on the relevance of the questions we tackle. Uh, so that the so as to enhance the relevance of the of the answers we get to these questions. Lorenzo Bergomi from Societe Generale, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.